So you wanna learn how to do email forwarding with GoDaddy? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you step-by-step step exactly how to get that done. So you definitely wanna stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you wanna learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said we're gonna uh go ahead and jump right into the content and i'm gonna minimize my camera all right so now that my camera is minimized you can see that we are inside of godaddy and what i'm about to do is take you step by step through the process so please pay very close attention all right all right so the first thing we want to do is up here when i click the drop down arrow you can see it says my product so i'm gonna just go through the process with you as if i haven't already done it and then once everything populates over here, let me go ahead and click these out. All right, so now you see domains, workspace, email, and additional products. So what you want to do is you want to first go to additional products. All right, and then you should see email forwarding two free credits. Okay, and then you'll see redeem. Now I want to go ahead and put this out there. If you have a newer GoDaddy domain, then you may not necessarily see the email forwarding, okay? And if you, for instance, don't see workspace email, that's another, um, you know, that's another um, indication that you're you have more of a newer domain, which means that you don't you no longer have access to email forwarding unless you're actually paying for it, right? And I just want to put that out there because I don't want you to waste your time watching this video. Now, on the other hand, if you actually have the things that I have here, then that means that you're still good to go. So if you have an older domain, then this is still gonna work. All right. All right, so here we go. So you wanna go and click on redeem and then you wanna hit redeem credit. Now seeing that I've already done this, I don't have to go through the process of redeeming it. So let's get into how you would actually go, go you know, move forward and do it. So you go to workspace email, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna go to options, all right? So let me make sure I'm using the correct one. All right, so, okay, so no, no, we aren't gonna do that. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're going to click on manage all, okay? All right, so now, you see, it's, you see it's brought us to this screen right here. This is the screen that you wanna see, so make sure you're here. And if you're, if you're doing this with me, that's, that would probably be the best, my best recommendation for you, so you can actually know what you're doing. All right, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, uh, let's actually just use my, my actual domain. All right, so you can see here, I already created a couple different um, email forwards. So what you wanna do is you wanna click right here to where it says create forward, okay? Now, what it's gonna do is gonna allow me to put put something you know additional on the front of my domain, which, is, which will become an email. So it's taking a little bit more time than I want it to, but uh, just give it a few minutes here, okay? Okay, boom, there we go. So it says create a forwarding address. So the way that you're gonna do this is as you can see, they give you an example. So it says email at domain.com. So let's say for instance, I wanted to put support and then I put the at symbol and then you can see it says support at Rakim, support at this, support at this or so on and so on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use support um, at, let's try seektrueprosperity.com. Okay, so boom, so there we go right there. And then what you wanna do is you wanna put the email that you want it to forward to. So let's say for instance, I want it to forward to this particular email right here, uh, local to truth one at gmail.com. All right, I messed that up. All right, so there we go, dot com. And then what you can do, you can see it says free email forwarding with domain. So really and truthfully, the only two day domains that I have it with is my Rakeem Addison and my your dreams are real dot, dot today. So just for example purposes, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use, um, let's just use my domain as I intend it. And then you can see right here, you can make this a catch all account, which means that Let's say, for instance, somebody screws up even just like a letter or something. What it's going to do is it's going to catch all and you're still going to be able to receive that email. So you could do that if you really want to. Um, I'm not going to do it in this case. And then after that, all I'm going to do is hit create. All right. So right now it's creating that forward. Um, it may take a few minutes here. Just give it some time. 
All right, so boom, email forwarding for this is being set up. So at this particular point, it is being set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh this screen and it should show up here in a minute. All right, so there's that one and I should be able to see the other one. I'm not seeing it at this particular moment. Um, okay, so there it is right there, support at rakeemaddison.com and that will be the Ford I could use. So at this particular point, it's not done. So the next step is to go back, right? We're gonna go back to this and then we're gonna go back to products. All right, so now you're gonna have to add two MX records, all right? So you probably, if you're not familiar, I'm about to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna click on the domain and you wanna click on DNS, okay? So now this is gonna allow you to play with things in the back, um, in the background of the website. So over here, and uh, for this, I may or may not have it. Okay, so I don't have it set up already, so that's good. So now we're gonna click on add, and we're gonna click on select, and then we're gonna click on MX, okay? That's, that stands for, that's for MX record. So in the host box, we're gonna put at, and then in the points two, we're going to put, let me actually go over here and show you. So the first MX record, these are the things that you're going to do. So as you can see, uh, we already got MX, we already did the at, so this is what it will point to. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna go over here to points to, and I'm gonna paste smtp.secureserver.net, and you should see it come up on the screen, um, just in case you can't actually see it here in the video, okay? All right, and then priority, we want to put the priority to zero, and then what you want to do so it happens a little bit quicker is you can put it to a half an hour, okay? So then we're going to hit OK, all right, and then now you should see it there, boom. So that's the first one. Now the second one, right, we're going to go ahead and select MX again. All right, and then we're going to hit the same at symbol, and then the points two is going to be different this time. The point two on this is going to be mailstore1.secureserver.net. Oh, I put N-E-T. Uh, there we go. So net. Okay, so we're going to copy that, and then we're going to come over here and paste that in the points two. All right, and then now, instead of it being zero, we wanna put that priority to 10, and then to speed it up again, we wanna put a half an hour. All right, so at this particular point, boom, both of the MX records are there, and now what I'm about to do is I'm about to test it so that you can see that it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one that I already have set up, which is my Your Dreams Are Real. I just kinda of wanna show you how, it would go, how you would go about, you know, seeing, you know, testing it. So now I'm gonna hit Compose, and then I'm going to put in info at your dreams are real. Uh, make sure this is right. Your dreams are real dot today. So that's one of the 40 email addresses addresses I created. So I'll just put, hey, Raheem, uh, hello. Right. And then I'll just say, hey, I was looking for you the other day. You know, something like that. All right, so boom, there's my email, and then now it may take a few moments for it to actually send. So you can see it says message sent. So now I'm gonna go into another one of my emails, and I'm going to go see if it actually came just yet. Just so you can see that, you know, this actually works um, with the way that I just showed you. Okay, so give it a few moments. Um, I think it's still populating. It should actually show up here in a moment. I just want you to see that, you know, this is the correct way to do it. All right, give it a few moments. It should pop over here any moment now. Okay, boom, you see, there it is. Hey, Rakeem, hello. Hey, I was looking for you the other day. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well, what if you reply back to it? So now I'm gonna actually reply back to it so you can see that it's gonna work on the other side. Um, let's just say test. Um, testing one, two, three. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna hit send to send back since remember this is a forward, but this is the email that I'm sending from. So now it's gonna go back to the email that we were just in. So just wait for it over here just for a moment. Let's actually refresh this page and uh, we should see it here in a few. Okay, there it is. Hey, Rakim, hello, testing one, two, three. So as you can see, um, it definitely works and that is how you do email forwarding. Keep in mind what I said in the beginning of the video. I said if you have a older domain, 
this may still work but if you don't see what i just showed you here in this video if you don't see all the things that i was pressing then that means that you have a newer uh newer domain and godaddy actually took um took um took it away um for all new domains which means that now you would actually have to go through the process of paying for it all right so hopefully you got some value from this video and if you did definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up also drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful helpful or valuable and with that being said i look forward to seeing you in the next video peace